Hey, what's up, homies? How's it going? It's your boy Logan, aka Logan, here back at it with a video. But in today's video, I went to go explore the Glendale Hospital located in Glendale, Maryland. This place used to treat tuberculosis and it was also an isolation hospital too. Uh, this originally opened up in 1934. Place that used to have a nurse home, a theater, chapel, and it also even has a morgue. But this place also even had on the second floor, this was rumors of a satanic room where, uh, I'm not gonna say devil worshipers, but it's more so people who are supporting more of a darker paranormal. But maybe the next time, if you guys want me to, if you can get 40 likes on this video, that'd be poggers because then I'll bring Sarah with me and we'll go all the way down there. It was like a two hour drive, but fuck yeah, for you homies, I would do it. It's also known to be haunted due to, unfortunately, I, I feel bad for the patients who have passed, but the good news is during the 1950s, they came up with uh, antibiotics, so then, patients wouldn't die anymore. However, the patients that have died, unfortunately died with tuberculosis and they were treating it differently then. And it caused many lives. 40 likes on this video guys and I'll go find the whole satanic room. Also homies, there has been reports of a goat, ha goat man here, half man and half goat. Not fucking bullshit of here. I literally read upon this in like some news. I was doing like, a lot of research on this place and my goodness, it's very interesting. During the whole time here, I felt like I was being watched and also felt like I was also being followed. But maybe I was, I don't know. It's very likely because I'm not gonna give you a number because I don't want to give false information, but I do want to say over 100 people have died there, 100%. Because it just from reports and also reviews of literally witnessing what others had to say about this place, it's looking like that. But I hope you guys all have a great rest of your night. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, homies. Fucking crazy. So I have to keep my voices down throughout this expedition or this exploring video. Cause I don't know what's here, but I am by myself. So it makes it 10 times scarier. All right, homies, so I just put my mask on. Now we're heading into the place. This is an old hospital. This is where they kept like mentally ill patients. Damn. They had to keep the bodies in there. Shit. The toilet. I really wonder what some of these rooms have been. So the door's there. I know we're at the bottom level, homies. And this place is filled with asbestos, so if you do decide to come, make sure you come prepared like I did. All right, before we head over there, I want to check over here first. Oh my gosh, is this an old elevator? It fucking is. That's sick. Oh, that just leads to another one. Huh, shower, bathroom right there. So this had to been a room too. Another door. Jeez. I can't fucking have. 
having that vibe. Somebody's falling around. But this is not the only building I'm gonna explore. This video is probably gonna be hella long. So I hope you guys are in for it. Also, one thing I have to mention, homies, is that the fact that this place indeed has not steady floors. So I have to be cautious. Oh, no way. So maybe this is where they kept the food. I want to find the morgue. Damn, this is just the kitchen. That's a hole. Hold up. Okay, so I got it to another level. So now I'm on, like, I guess upstairs. I already saw one thing I really wanted to go explore. This is so cool. If you guys ever wonder why I pause the videos or they just kind of cut off, it's just mainly because I take a lot of photography. And if you haven't checked out my Instagram, here's that little link. If you wonder, I always actually have a backpack on for many reasons. Whether if it's dealing with the paranormal or just quickly need an extra mask. Actually, not gonna lie, if I see you in an abandoned place and you know me, tell me if you need a mask. I got you. It's black. But this is the room over here I was telling you about. Homies, I looked online. Gosh, this place is fucking cool. Yes, yes, it still looks nice, sheesh, now this is fucking dope, if I had my own sticker, I'd put it right here, now this place is fucking sweet, I think we're gonna have to do a thumbnail right here, also, there's also one thing I want to try. This. Any spirits here, Rebecca? Please take my hand. I usually hold it out like this because then it doesn't connect to the camera. Because sometimes when you. I see a lot of ghosts or explorers, people who love paranormal, they would do this. Don't do that. Put it wide out like that. I don't know, I shouldn't be giving it an EMF tutorial, but yeah, you always put your arm out when you do it. I'm just waiting for somebody, just some fucking demon ghost, just like run right across the hallway. So this might have been the receptionist desk. Now this is cool. Pick a door, any door. I'm gonna pick this one. No, nothing. Okay. This is the adult building. So this is where they kept all the adults. Oh, that's creepy. You know, like, if I were just some random person and I came across this place, I would have never have guessed this is a hospital. I'm not going to flash my light, because I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. Alright, we're going to lean close to this side right here. I'm going to scoop my camera around this corner. And you see that white trailer? What I'm about to show you, that's security. Also, 
also I forgot to mention, but people have reported singing, people have recorded, um, heard I think we should go over there to that building. I'll see you guys in a minute. Holy shit. Okay, good news. Kinda sucks, cause we just got rushed out of there. But it turned out to be two teenagers. <sighs> I can't tell you. I really thought it was the fucking security guard. They know I'm coming over here. They look like they went over there. I'm in the next day. Doesn't look like a big building. Holy shit. I just had to run around this building to find a way in. I don't know what this building is called. people there god at least I know there's two explorers here with us I kind of that makes me a little feel better so this had to be a bedroom I like how this building top really has touch which is fucking cool Also, there's so many other buildings here. If you guys get a chance to go to Glendale, you should. <sighs> a bathtub. <laughs> Toilet seats. Honestly, homies, I did not even know about this, but I guess this is where they brought the drop-offs. That's super cool. Yeah. Alrighty, this is not the hospital, but it's just a side residence. Fuck no. Sorry, homies. This itself is sketch. Yeah, so that's like a watchtower that's abandoned. That's abandoned. Everything here is abandoned. There is a lawnmower. Over there. I'm not sure if it's in use. If there's somebody watching this property right now. I don't know. This is indeed the children's hospital right here. Found a way in. Alrighty. Now this might be more haunted. I can tell that the asbestos is bad in here. The reason I say that is because on the way here, I don't know, I'm not saying breathing is this an issue right now, but I can tell there's something different in the air quality. I believe this used to be the reception table. Okay. And another stairs. I like how people pointed out exits. Like more than just one. You know, that's really smart. Helping each other out. 
I like it. You know, like, I feel like people get the wrong image of the urban explorer community. I feel like some people just assume we're trespassers and all we want to do is break rules, but that's completely not the case. Look at this whole door. We just like history. Gosh, that's creepy. But old lockers. Yeah, I can tell this place was for kids. They have little fountains. I believe, yeah, like right here. Say hi to the children. Ooh. I don't even know if the other place had a basement or if I was. What? Well, that was weird. My whole camera just turned off. My battery's dying though. I can tense. I can feel that. Something went wrong here. <laughs> Yo, look at that. It's the guy from fucking Mario. Don't know what that is. But I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here just before my camera dies. But this is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys want to see a part two where I come back here and bring Sarah, smash this like button and let's try to get, I think you guys can get 30 likes. I'm not gonna, no, no actually. How about this? If we get 40 likes on this video, I think I'm gonna come back here for sure. The only reason why I'm saying is it 40 is because the asbestos here is bad and you know i feel like that deserves a good amount of light goal also i was going to show you guys just something real quick yeah i saw this i don't know what these things are it's a toilet hmm. that's cool old little stand But yeah, I think 40 likes definitely is worth, well worth another part two video. Yeah, I think I've explored both ends. Alrighty. Now we got an hour and a half drive back home. Fuck, not going down that way. This is why you guys gotta be cautious on where you go. We'll come back here. And I'll explore the children's basement. But in the meantime, this place is going to remain probably abandoned. I don't know. I must say, though, they should really fix this up. Because they can make some good money. Yeah, this is for anyone, really. You buy this property, fix it up. I want to come see this without a dust. <laughs> Not you, asbestos, you legend. I just realized that there's another building. I think it's connected. I think we went over there. I don't know. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, homies.